Okay, everybody, here's where we're at today. We're urban camping. My wife recently took ill. I don't want to be very far from her right now. I can get to the house within about three minutes. So here I am. We're going to try to make the best of it. This camp was trashed a couple years ago by storm. I came up the other day and I cut... couple trees that were down across the path I came up and cut them up the other day we're going to try to make a go of it today we're going to try to have a tarp camp up here with a long fire I think I'm going to have plenty of wood what do you guys think so yeah we're going to try to do a tarp camp I might we got the winds howling today I've got I think I'm going to try to put the tarp right in there maybe somewhere and put the long fire right in here we'll see there's my old fire pit over there star's not with me at the moment she's going to be joining me in a little bit i wanted to come and uh, just try to scope things out and see where i might put things so yeah we're going to try to make a go of it and see if we can do a primitive camp tarp camp with a long fire
me. Right there is what we are looking at right now. It's about 1 p.m. That was a mishap, wasn't it? Welcome back everybody. We're going to do a camp tonight. We're going to, uh, we got a rudimentary shelter here made out of a tarp. I have a fire here at the beginning of what's going to be a long fire. I have a fire reflector and um, we'll see how it goes. This is my first time doing anything like this. If any of you watching uh, see something I'm doing terribly wrong, please Feel free to correct me, but I want a long fire to get some heat reflected up underneath here tonight. Keep Star and I warm, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for coming along. It already feels so much better underneath here. And I don't even have a bed of coals built up yet. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 degrees warmer in here than it is. I can still see my breath, of course, but it's much better than it is out there. And once we get our coals built up, it'll be putting off even more heat. Well, I've got my Heikinger self-inflating mat for tonight. I've got my zero degree Coleman mummy bag. I just had to rescue my tripod out of the fire. Wow. It's been a while since I've sat down. Oh. As long as the fire don't start smoking me out. 
so far the smoke is going straight up or to the south. Star has a sleeping pad under her to block the cold from the ground. She has a sleeping bag and a dog bed. So I think she should be okay tonight. And I think I have enough wood cut to keep this fire going. I sure appreciate you guys that follow me, you guys that subscribe, you guys that always comment. It's been a while since I've been out. I'm just going to throw a little onion in here for flavor with this potato. I to save a little bit of that foil. These are all beef brought. do have a lot of sodium so I have to be careful how much star gets wrap a piece of bacon around them I think that was going to be pretty good. We'll see. A mm -mm -mm. little overdone, but that's okay. A little smoky. A little overdone, but they're still good.
Well, everybody, things aren't going quite as planned. We do have a beautiful moon tonight coming up. I wanted to do a time lapse with the GoPro, and the GoPro is too cold, it will not work. So, I had to scrap that idea, and I got a couple hand warmers in the bottom of my sleeping bag. I have a hand warmer on me. Um, when the fire goes out, it's probably going to get really cold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close down for the night, and I'll get a few shots of the moon as it comes up. Deer, deer love to frequent this spot, this spot, very spot that I'm in. So I may wake up with a buck looking at me. So we'll see. The fire will probably keep them away unless it goes out. Who's that little girl right there? I covered her up with a blanket, but she didn't like it very much. Well, it's about 18 right now. Fire's still going. Heat's coming up underneath the tarp, keeping me good and warm. So I put a great big old piece of locust, probably about 10 inches around on the uh, long fire. And hopefully that will last uh, a long time before it goes out. Maybe all night long. Okay? All right. Good morning, everybody. Warmed up overnight. It's 23 now. 6.07 a.m. I think I want to get up. I have to go to the bathroom. Try to get this fire stirred up a little bit so I can make me some coffee. Do too bad. That uh, piece of locust I put on there about, I think it was, I don't know, midnight. Midnight or one o'clock. Can't remember. It, uh, it burned up pretty good. It was about 10 inches around. Locust, locust is good wood, good long burning wood. Let's see if I can get this coffee water warmed up. I got impatient on my coffee. I had to move it a little bit closer. You guys, thanks for coming along on another adventure. We had a primitive tarp with a long fire, well, semi primitive uh, camp. I longed to do that for quite some time. And uh, if you like the video, think about subscribing, give it a thumbs up. But thanks for having coffee with me this morning. I want to pack up and get out of here. You guys have been great. Those who's followed me and stuck with me. I did fall yesterday and um, kind of banged up this morning, so I'm hurting a little bit. But I'm never going to stop dreaming. Trucker John reminded me of that early in Connie's illness. So, uh, Nomadic Camping loves you. Remember to try to love others the best you can. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.